yo, how long you been growing your hair? And I told them, 16 years, they'd be like, yo, that's been a minute, man. And I just think they really enjoy it. I wasn't really bullied. It's more like people will just try like avoiding me, like just have opinion or they judge you just by the way you look. But I ain't gonna lie, as a man in Babylon with locks, <sighs> Welcome back to Pineapple World, where your journey matters. I'm Activerse, your host with the most banger videos on YouTube. Today, guys, we're gonna be going over a 16 year of dreadlock journey. I mean, 16 years. Some of you guys may have seen it on Activerse channel, but a lot of you guys complain under the comments saying that the music is not hearable and different things like that. And also, this is Pineapple World, where your journey matters. So I wanted to introduce to you guys, for those of you guys that haven't seen this video, look and see a kid growing his dreadlock. And his dad, too, growing their dreadlock for a long time. This kid grew his, his hair since he was born. Like, never cut it. Like, Samson type of deal. And his dad about 13 years also. But you guys gonna enjoy this video. But before we get into that, you guys notice the new hair color that I got. It is inspired by Pineapple World. I wanted to show his love to Pineapple World, and that's why I got it. And let me know in the comments what you guys think about my hair. I know some of you guys come from Activers, so you guys already seen it. But for those of you guys that didn't come from Activers, what do you think about my hair? My dreadlocks, you think that's cool? What do you guys think about my hair? You guys like it? Think you guys think it's cool? Think it came out pretty nice? I think I like it. See that? That pineapple right there? Yeah. And pineapple, of course, represents a journey. If you study how pineapple made, and I also posted it on my, uh, my first video, what pineapple is, that's what it represents. It represents the journey. Not the hairstyle, not the way we look, but actually the journey. And that's why also we created a Facebook page called Pineapple Fam, where you guys get to share your journey and also ask any questions that you guys have in there and somebody will help you out that had gone through it or I'll be able to answer that back also. Besides that, we do have an Instagram where we feature people that follows us. To qualify, all you have to do is just follow us and then we're gonna reach out to you and see what you got going on and then we're gonna feature you on our story. But enough about us. Let's talk about this kid and how he dealt with 16 years of dreadlocks. Starting off greetings, my name is Rasito. We represent the Virgin Islands, St. Croix to be specific. This is my son, Jackie, aka Jackie, and he's here. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? The future. Born from Connecticut, raised in Arizona. Yeah, we just represent the US Virgin Islands. To clarify the roots, our roots. Our Nati, it's a, it's, a, it's a connection of culture and our spirituality, you know what I'm saying? In our culture it's a thing of maturity, beauty, strength, it goes hand in hand with our nature. It's an uh, extension of our, our nervous system, it, it keeps us aware in Babylon, you know what I'm saying? Aware of the seen as well as the unseen. So we wear it with pride, not to be proud for, but we wear it with pride. For me, like, my dad always said, uh, it was like, my hair felt more of a, it felt, it felt as if I would cut it, like if I was to cut it, it was like just, how do I put it, it was always a part of me, like individually, like as a, as another, I didn't always think of my hair as just something people cut off, you know, it was always something to me that I just cherished and just enjoyed it, I just love the fact that people come up to me, people just come up to me and be like, Yo, how long you been growing your hair? And I told them, 16 years, they'd be like, yo, that's been a minute, man. And I just think they really enjoy it. Uh, for us, it was more naughty. It wasn't really dreadlocks. So it'd be like, you would, I didn't really care how they'd say dreadlocks, but just... Yeah, naughty, 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 you relax. The dread thing is more of a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's more of a taboo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anytime like, we think about locks or my crown, ooh, 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 it's an upful thought. It's not a dreadful thought. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. We put food salt in, word salt out in creation. We try to keep it upful or positive. You know what I'm saying? And the term dread, like I said, I don't have no personal. Purpose. about the word yeah. but if I choose to speak a word into existence I choose for you to be neutral and upful you know yeah. yes sir yes sir I 
wasn't really bullied. It's more like people would just try like avoiding me, like just have uh, what is it, an opinion, or just they judge you just by the way you look. And for me, I wasn't really, I didn't look intimidating. Yeah. I didn't really look intimidating, but people would just be like, I don't like the way he look. He look. I feel like people, the first thing they see when they come to locks, they like you look dirty or something. They have a preset mind condition. You know what I'm saying? It's like a stereotype or a stigma. And the only way to break it is through interaction. You know what I'm saying? That's why, in a way, preparing them for the future because they see how I do it naturally. You know what I'm saying? We come to break a stigma. This is why they say we scan cross, not warriors. Because how we interact with creation, we already know we come with the positive force. Positivity is life. So when we come to where that force that people avoid, it confuses them because they never feel these feelings. We are aware of this. So we walk in power and we gentle with it. We present ourselves honorably. I try to be a classic Rasta man. Not in your face with it. We try to win them over and kill them with love. And in the end, they end up loving us more. It's a, it's a win-win situation. But I ain't gonna lie, as a man in Babylon with lax, it has been a learning experience. If you look at it, well, it made me a better man because I was angry when I was young. I look at it as uh, mostly what they use, prejudice or racism. But in, in creation, people kill what they don't understand. So I'll be a fool to try to create a whole new mindset. Instead, I, I discover, well, okay, let me adjust myself and perceive it from a different angle. I, I, I consider myself a people person. So when I start to change my perception and the interpretation and deal with them according to their fragility, it work out better. It work out better. It's a simplicity still in it. It's all nature. You know what I'm saying? You deal with them like babies. It's written. You deal with them as babies. And in the end, when they start to eat hard food, they love you for your worth. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I never felt mad at my hair. It was more like I just, it's always a thought in your head. You'd be like, yo, how would I look like? How would I act? Would I act differently? Would it like change my persona? And when you think about it, yeah, it's like, like I said earlier, it's like you're another part of yourself. So when you try thinking, when you think about cutting your hair, you want to like, like chop your arm off. Yeah, man. You it's can't, like, you can't it's move like about creation the same way if you're missing an appendix. It's the same way we are locked, it's alive. So it, wow. we know it changes you, it's, it's science to it. And the reason why he gonna have difficulty answering the question is because he only knew one thing. It's not like you or me that I, I, I was raised in a Christian household by old wise women, you know what I'm saying? So for me, I know the before and the after. I have had times in my life where I went through situations where I had to part with my locks. You know what I'm saying? And I told him, I, I, I told him I wasn't the man I was before. It made a difference. I was conscious of the difference. You know what I'm saying? So for me to, for, for that to happen to me, it's like a penalty, like a, like a, something I'm afraid of more than, than jail or death. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You handicapping me. I, I'm not trying to walk around creation naked, spiritually and mentally. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, we hold form to the, to the, as they said, the old ways. We just mix in a little bit of sauce from the new to just, so we in that taboo. You know what I'm saying? Because our, our purpose here is the healing of humanity. Yes, I. Yeah. So everything we do, we keep that in consideration. We try to be open and welcoming and loving. So. We could infect this place with the original love, not the carbon copy love. Yes, I think. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First and foremost, it, it, because of the the challenges you meet in life, we was I noticing there's a lot more to this matrix creation that we led to believe because. The same trials and tribulations that we cause, they humble me, you know what I'm saying? It take me to self-reflection and self-analyzation. Why do I react a certain way to this? And as it progress and it get longer, you go through stages of self-analyzation. Because self-awareness comes with, with growing lax. You can't, you can't have lax and not be aware. You look in the mirror, some people twist it, some people do different things. That, that shows self-awareness. For me, who take a different route, I just let it fly and as I go, I, it, it heightened my self-awareness and it, it turned from a self-awareness to an all-around awareness. I learned to be a people reader, a personality reader. I learned to be able to flex myself and put myself in different situations and be able to stay afloat seamlessly.
endlessly. It come like I download information without having to ponder it. And I know it might sound crazy, you know, but sometimes I know my son coming without thinking. It's I just have a knowing and it's who feels it knows it more so than an academic explanation of rigid sciences. It's a, as Bob Marley put it, it's a natural mystic and who feels it knows it, who is aware it's a gift. And without it, I'm not great, I'm lesser. So we take to, we, we try in the natural way, that's all it is. Return to the old ways in a modern society. Yes, sir? Yeah. With yeah. love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look like a lion, my guy. Thanks, man. Dang. Can you show us like the close-up of like what it looks like, the Congos and watching this video I'm actually surprised by how this kid was able to maintain and also the level of confidence that he has with himself and how he talks and handles himself is beautiful you can see the representation of his dad kind of going to it those you guys that don't have a supporting parents or anything like that for dreadlocks that's fine some people don't see it that way and some people see it this way you know what I'm saying uh, I see it as a fashion so I'm kind of like in between I rock my dreadlock because of fashion because of and also I was never allowed to grow hair growing up so maybe that's that has something to do with it also I can't wait till I have the next guest as one of you guys. But till next time, this is Pineapple World where your journey matters. I'm Activerse. I'm out.